Howdy. Welcome back to Dion Talk. I actually have a question for Dana, the CEO of Hemlane, that I'm looking at in kind of the reverse order. I have a friend, Millennial Mike, who lives in a high cost of living area and he house hacks, but he chose to invest out of state, investing in a distance. And since he does that, he doesn't self-manage his properties that are at a distance. Locally, he self-manages his house hack, and now he's doing a short-term rental on the other side of the duplex. But for his long-distance properties, I think it's kind of a smart move to have property management. What I have here today is Dana, the CEO of Hemlane, a large property management platform that I'm slowly transitioning my units to. I'm curious, Dana, what's your opinion of people who start investing in real estate long distance? How would self-managing work? Yeah, good. that's a great question. Uh, one of the things, the mental barriers that most uh, real estate investors go through is I'm not there. So I need someone physically there full time to manage my property. For me, you need to change the mindset. And the reason is, is I always ask why, sort of like we spoke about um, Dion uh, in our last conversation about AI and being able to ask the right questions. And so my question is, well, why do you have to be there? Oh, just in case something goes wrong. And it's like, okay, but how often does something go wrong? Maybe it's once in a, a year that some, some catastrophe may happen. Um, but there's other people who can be there for you. And so when I say remotely manage, I do not mean do not have a team on the ground, do everything from behind a computer. I definitely don't think that is the model. But between a really, really, really good handyman or someone who is licensed for like leasing, who can do your showings or something like that, or um, uh, there's various other opportunities that you have with an inspector going out or whatever, whomever it may be, you actually physically do have those people on the ground. And the question you have to ask yourself is, well, why are you so good and you think you have to be the one there? Because usually when I hear these situations of like, oh, I have to be there in case the tenant is not paying rent, right? Well, why should you be the one going out to the property and serving the notice? Why wouldn't you have a process server do it? You know, so there's all these questions that go into it of saying, who's the subject matter expert? And having those folks on the ground or a platform solution to have that in place for you, I think is very important. And your job as a real estate investor is to maximize your cash flow. And through maximizing your cash flow, it's a combination of keeping your tenants really happy. Long-term tenants will ask for, Dion, um, what, what you've done is asking for rent increases. So really happy tenants is part of that equation. It's also you know maintaining the property and being smart about doing the right repairs at the right time and the right maintenance. Um, and it's about making sure you have the right rental rate and things like that. But all of that strategy stuff doesn't need you physically there in person. What you need physically there in person, right, is something like there's a water leak. Someone needs to go out and check it. Or um, I need to do an inspection. I need an inspector to go out to make sure they said they didn't have a, pet, a dog. Let's make sure they don't. So I think by unbundling that and looking at, well, asking yourself, like, well, why do you physically need there to be there? And maybe you are the best contractor in the world and there's no one better than you to do home repairs or something. But then I would ask, like, mm, maybe your time is better spent on commercial properties or something like that that you might already have business for. And so really questioning the why and getting to that, you may rethink it. Now, if you have a team on the ground like, and you give a response of like, my handy man's not reliable enough to go out, or I don't have a really good solution in place with a, a process server, or my tenant screening never works because tenants are constantly being evicted, then you have to think about your team and say, I need a better team in place on the ground, someone who is reliable and can be there when I need them. But you don't need them 24-7 to do that. And so that's where there's a lot of questions of why, because I've seen self-management remotely done very well. I've also seen it done not well from afar. And a lot of times when it's not done well, it's because you don't have the right 
um, structure in place and process in place. And so there were basically gaps and holes through that, that process that you have. So there's two ways that I've looked at self-managing at a distance. And, and one is the way that I'm going to do it. And that's at the beginning of the video, I said, I look at it backwards. I invested where I lived for several years. I developed the systems and I have the trusted handyman, three or four of them. And then I learned how to use the Thumbtack app. And I have plumbing and electrician contractors that I've worked with that I can call and schedule jobs with. So when I move away, the perfect situation for me is to be on Hemlane so that in those months when I'm away, the one thing I really don't have in place right now is that licensed person to go out and sign leases. So the month where I might have a tenant turnover or need a lease signed, I can step up to the third tier of Hemlane have that month, have a leasing agent go out, take care of my issue. And then because I'm frugal, broken inside, I would step back down to the tier that I need when I don't need the lease assigned after that. It's, to me, that's made sense because I developed the systems. But I'm looking at it from a Gen X perspective where I needed to get this in place because I didn't have the education to do it. Well, what we have now is YouTube University. And I think you're right. I think people can educate themselves enough to know exactly who they're going to need on their team, like trusted handymen. And now we have things like the Thumbtack app to find those handymen and the contractors in a place and emergency services in a place and to get the thing that I didn't have was that person to go and sign leases if you needed it. So I think it's an easier time than it's ever been to manage at a distance. And you're, you're right that the warning that I would give as the lazy investor who reached financial freedom because I didn't want to have to work, I didn't want to invest to create another job, was investing locally, I'm more likely to go do stuff at my rentals because I am here that I don't need to do, right? I have a tenant turnover. I might have somebody putting in the flooring and I'm tempted to go rip out the carpet myself because I can save $400 and do a day's work. Whereas as an investor, I should happily pay somebody 400 bucks to go rip out the carpet so that I can actually do productive things like play online video games instead of spending time working on my properties where it really doesn't save me that much money because I lose a day of my time when the investment could pay for it. So I think you have me rethinking what it would be like to invest at a distance if you had the right education and the right tools to set up the systems to make it happen. Yeah, I think that education, to your point, it doesn't have to be a formal education. It's going to YouTube University. It's learning from that. Um, and then the other thing I would say about it is if you're worried about the cost and say, I can save time by doing the flooring myself, even though it's not your profession. If it's your profession and you do floors every day, fair enough. But if you don't do floors every day and you say, oh, but I could save myself the $400 and not have the experienced person and do it myself, I actually think you need to change your mindset. If you are worried about money, don't think about expense savings. Think about revenue generation, like the top line. How do I buy more rental properties and make more money work for me? How do I go out and strategically look at my investment strategy today? Wait, I'm not saving enough money and that's why I'm worried about my expenses. How do I go and I save more money or how do I make more money in my job? And that's the, those are the types of questions you should be asking yourself because the moment you start trying to do everything yourself, um, what ends up happening is you're not doing anything well. Like you're not an expert in flooring, but you're like trying to do it to save yourself $400. Meanwhile, you could be spending that time making $5,000 because you set yourself up from a strategy perspective um, for success. Or to your point, Dion, hey, I don't need that money. I've become the lazy landlord by working hard before and setting up a good structure in place. I just want a video game, whatever it is, but you kind of have to get to that root cause of what's happening in there. And then from there, um, be able to come up with a better solution than, hey, my rental property needs me for everything. So there will be a time when I invest at a distance. But not today. When I do, what I'm going to do is put the same systems in place that I have here with my local investments. I think it's entirely possible, especially with some of the new tools coming out like AI and property management platforms like Hemlane. So if there was somebody looking at investing at a distance and they had questions for you about how Hemlane works, how can they reach out and find you? Yeah, you can reach out to the easiest thing is to reach out to me at Dana, D-A-N-A at Hemlane.com. You can also go to Hemlane.com, chat us from there um, and uh, the team can relay the question.
Dion, thanks so much for having me on your show. Um, I've loved being on it. Um, I do want to let everyone know in the Dion Talk audience that you do get 20% off on your first year. So please, please make sure if you do try Hemling's property management platform that you mention that you heard about us through Dion Talk and we'll make sure that discount code applies. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dana. I really appreciate having you on here because while I'm an investor and I reach financial freedom, I only have my experience with Hemlane and the pla- you know the platform that you have with the thousands and thousands of units and the thousands of owners. You have a, a unique perspective that I appreciate you sharing with my audience. And I appreciate you trying to save them some money by giving them that discount. Until my next video, thanks for coming to my Dion Talk. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.